Hey, welcome to A Course in Miracles. Today we are starting our third review. And so what we'll be doing is, uh, well, I'll, I'll just read the introduction here. So our next review begins today. We will review two recent lessons every day for 10 successive days of practicing. We will observe a special format for these practice periods that you are urged to follow just as closely as you can. We understand, of course, that it may be impossible for you to undertake what is suggested here as optimal each day and every hour of the day. Learning will not hamper when you miss a practice period because it is impossible at, that, at the appointed time. Nor is it necessary that you make excessive efforts to be sure that you catch up in terms of numbers. Rituals are not our aim and would defeat our goal. But learning will be hampered if you skip a practice period because you are unwilling to devote the time to it that you are asked to give. Do not deceive yourself in this. Unwillingness can be most carefully concealed behind a cloak of situations you cannot control. Learn to distinguish situations that are poorly suited to your practicing from those that you establish to uphold a camouflage for your unwillingness. Those practice periods that you have lost because you did not want to do them for whatever reason should be done as soon as you have changed your mind about your goal. You are unwilling, you are unwilling to cooperate in practicing salvation only if it interferes with goals you hold more dear. When you withdraw the given uh, when you withdraw the value given them, allow your practice periods to be replacements for your litanies to them. They gave you nothing, but your practicing can offer everything to you, and so accept their offering and be at peace. The format you should use for these reviews is this. Devote five minutes twice a day or longer, if you would prefer it, to considering the thoughts that are assigned. Read over the ideas and comments that are written down for each day's exercise and then begin to think about them while letting your mind relate them to your needs, your seeming problems, and all your concerns. Place the ideas within your mind and let it use them as it chooses. Give it faith that it will use them wisely, being helped in its decisions by the one who gave the thoughts to you. What can you trust what can you trust but what is in your mind? Have faith in these reviews. The means the Holy Spirit uses will not fail. The wisdom of your mind will come to your assistance. Give direction at the outset, then lean back in quiet faith and let the mind employ the thoughts as you gave, the thoughts you gave as they were given for you to use. You have been given them in perfect trust, in perfect confidence that you would use them well, in perfect faith that you would see their messages and use them for yourself. Offer them to your mind in that same trust and confidence and faith. It will not fail. It is the Holy Spirit's chosen means for your salvation since it has his trust. Since it has his trust, his means must surely merit yours as well. We emphasize the benefits to you if you devote the first five minutes of the day to your reviews and only and also give and also give the last five minutes of your waking day to them. If this cannot be done, at least try to divide them so you undertake one in the morning and the other in the hour just before you go to sleep. The exercises to be done throughout the day are equally important and perhaps of even greater value. You have been inclined to practice only at appointed times and then go on your way to other things without applying what you learned, what you learned to them. As a result, you have gained little reinforcement and have not given your learning a fair chance to prove how great are its potential gifts to you. Here's another chance to use it well. In these reviews, we stress the need to let your learning not lie idly by between your longer practice periods. Attempt to give your daily two ideas a brief but serious review each hour. 
Use one on the hour and the other one a half hour later. You do not need, you need not give more than just a moment to each one. Repeat it and allow your mind to rest a little time in silence and in peace. Then turn, uh, then turn to other things, but try to keep the thought with you and let it serve to help you keep your peace throughout the day as well. If you are shaken, think about it, think of it again. These practice periods are planned to help you form the habit of applying what you learn each day to everything you do. Do not repeat the thought and then lay it down. Its usefulness is limitless to you, and it is meant to serve you in all ways, all times and places, and whenever you need help of any kind. Try then to take it with you in the business of the day and make it holy, worthy of God's Son, acceptable to God and to yourself. Each day's review assignments will conclude with a restatement of the thought to use for each hour and the one to be applied each half hour as well. Forget them not. The second chance with each of these ideas will bring such large advances that we such large advances that we come from these reviews that we come from these reviews with learning gains so great we will continue on more solid ground with firmer footsteps and with stronger faith. Do not forget how little you have learned. Do not forget how much you can learn now. Do not forget your father's need of you as you review these thoughts he gave to you. And that is the introduction. So uh, we will, uh, I'm going to go ahead and conclude and uh, we'll go ahead and get started with our first review, uh, which is uh, the review of lessons 91 and 92. So I will see you shortly.